okay it's part of um it is part of this red container that's not much of a problem let's take it outside um that container so the idea here we are having um a red container which wraps the text and the icon so meaning that the text and the icon they are the children of that red container okay so what we want to do we want to remove the home element so that it must act as if it's not part of the red container let's just first take it out of the the stack okay okay let's just take it out so what we are going to do we are just going to change uh the home okay on class name on class name let's say position ah uh, sorry absolute let's just type absolute okay it's rendering so as you can see now it feels like it's not being affected or wrapped by this container okay we are getting there and then what we want to do let's um let's just give it a background color okay let's give it a background color of black and a text uh, white okay so as you can see now let's position it accordingly okay so at the moment um we need to position this um element relative to the red container okay meaning that we need to make the red container relative okay um let's just type relative let's make it relative and then let's change um the tool tip um right uh, position let's make it a uh, right of zero let's say a right of zero is going to be is it r zero am i okay right left okay no it's just right not r right zero let's see okay right it's zero let's change it to left my apologies about that okay left of zero and then let's push it um to the left more more to the left let's say it is too much i think left 20 as you can see it's jumping uh, to the side let's say left of five okay left of 12 okay i'm happy with this let me just check here confirm something okay this is very close to this one so it's not that far let's see okay this is not that far let's put um where was i let me undo so let's put a left of six let's see left of eight okay i'm happy with this more especially if i can remove the red background okay okay and then um let's see in terms of the the top okay let's see in terms of the top position of it let's give it a top of three let's see okay as you can see this is moving down too much let's put it at top of one i want it to be like sort of centralized a little bit and then let's give it um, a padding of one and rounded small okay and rounded small okay let's just give it a background color of red give it a background color of red so that it can be visible as you can see guys we are getting there okay okay this is a bit smaller that's not much of a problem let's change the font text sm make it small okay but still it's not as small as we want let's just put uh, pixels uh, 12 pixels let's see 
Okay. Yeah, it's smaller now. Okay, I think I'm I'm happy with it. Okay, somewhat like it, you get the technique, okay? We might not be as precise as, but you get the idea, okay? So, also I feel like it's too close here. Um, let's say a left of, I'm not sure, 10. Is, it, is that the left? Let's see, guys, yes. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, that's fine. Let's leave it like this. I'm happy with this. So now we want to um, show this when we have ho hover over it. Okay. Okay, so we want to show it when we have hovered over it. Okay. Let's continue, guys. Um, now what we're going to do, we need to make use of CSS um, group hovering. Okay. So let me quickly try it so what i want to do i want to tell css that the red container okay it's my some sort of um it's my group okay so the red container let me just type it here or label it as a group let's see okay i thought um i'm just going to write here group but now I can see it doesn't show me so that means we will have to rely on the documentation okay yeah I think it's group target okay now I'm guessing okay let's just quickly go to uh, tailwind documentation okay just to quickly check um, the group hovering okay I just uh, forget about it group hover tailwind Okay. Okay. Let's just see here. Okay. Usually you just uh, specify the group and and that's it. Okay. So that's what we want here. I just forgot the syntax. I hope this is going to be as quick as possible. Okay. BG Sky. That's not what I want. PG, okay, let's see. From state, okay. Maybe we might, uh, okay, if instead groups, okay, here is it. Yeah. My apologies for that. As you can see, this is group. I think I was right. You just uh, put group there and that's it. Group odd, no. Yeah. Okay, I was right, guys. You just put group there and then on hover, you can just say group hover, okay? It's such that I was not like confident, okay, in my own tailwind skills, okay? Because I've been um, practicing React, um, React Native lately and on React Native. I was not using Tailwind CSS, so it's been a while since I've worked with Tailwind CSS. So we are just telling um, Tailwind CSS that the red container is our group. Okay, let's just go back here. Okay, the red container is our group, and then we want to do something. Okay, we want to do something on where is the tooltip? Where is the tooltip? Okay, here is the tool tip. Okay, so this red container is not our group because it's the actual tool tip itself. Okay, remember we have changed the color of this one. Let's say BG. Now let's just try blue. Okay, let's try blue. So it's the blue container that is supposed to be blue 500. Okay, sorry guys, this is a mistake. Blue 500. Okay, so so the container, uh, why is not reflection? BG, okay, BG, blue 500. So this is um, the blue container that we want to, to put a group, 
okay it is a group so when i hover over it it's some sort of um what can i say excuse me whenever we hover over hover over it we want to do something in its children so in which uh, child specifically in the list of children in the um the tool tip okay in this one so let's say group over okay group over let's just say bg um green for now okay we just want to test as you can see guys now when we hover over the um, the blue container okay the blue element as you can see now the child which is the tooltip changes to red okay so let's do let's change something so that in order so that we can achieve what we want okay so what we want to do by default we want the tooltip to be hidden okay okay so let me just delete this for now Okay, my apologies about that. Let's just delete the screen one. Okay, by default, this is hidden. Let's check here. As you can see now, when we hover over this one, we want to show that one. Okay, this is not what we want. Group hover and then BG. Now, if it's hidden, how do I show it? I am not sure how do you do that in Tailwind CSS. Let me just try. This is just a, a fluke, guys, but we are going to do it the right way now, now, now. Okay, I'm just testing something. Okay, let me just say over, over. Let's say block. Oh, okay, we've got um block. Remember, Tailwind CSS, Um, it's some sort of um a css utility class so it's built on top of vanilla css so on vanilla css when you want to show something you display it block okay so let's just undo undo okay and then we're just going to change this instead of changing things to green let's just say block and see displaying something block you are showing it okay this was just an experiment guys if i can be honest since um using my own understanding of um vanilla css the other alternative if maybe this one didn't work i was going to use transparent so i was just going to change the background color to transparent so that it can disappear and then let's say transparent zero op opacity in fact that's the the best word or the right word i was going to change the opacity to zero and then when you hover over it and um change it to 100 percent that was my second option but this one i was just fluking but it happened that we are winning so as you can see guys now this is the tooltip so let's um remove this blue part here Okay, as you can see now let's change the red to black okay 